Good evening and welcome to the Supreme Court here at Ottawa Glenner High School where tonight WSM brings you, for all intents and purposes, the Western Buckeye League championship match of this particular volleyball season in 2024. The Ottawa Glenner Titans host the Shawnee Indians to set the stage for you. Both of these teams come in undefeated 7-0 in conference play. The next closest team in the conference has at least two losses. The winner will be a, at least a share of the championship, depending on the final match next week. And the loser will hope to get some help next week to stay in the race. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to be play by play alongside Mr. Dar Nevergal. Dar, this is an OG team that started pretty slow this season, but they have really come on lately. Now they're here to 7 0 and 12 and 7 coming in that match overall. Yeah, they certainly did, Mark. They started out the season at 3 and 6 before they went on an eight game winning streak uh, to put them at you know, where they're at right now. A little contrast to Shawnee. Shawnee, you know, has now lost two, you know, two of the last four games after having a six-game winning streak of their own. So it depends on which way, which Shawnee team's going to show up tonight to match against this OG team, which really is on a, a hot streak. Shawnee won their first and only Western Buckeye League championship in 2023. They did so with graduated players. Uh, Player of the year, in fact, in the conference, Grace Freiberger. First team all-conference, Kelly Cooper. Second team, Addie Maxwell. So they've had to replace some pieces, but they've got an excellent player in, in a setter as well as a hitter, and that is Carly Hutchins. Oh, they certainly do, and uh, Hutchins does a lot for them. I mean, 346 assists, 164 kills, 157 digs. I mean, that stat she alone would tell you what kind of a player she is, you know, at, at five foot ten. You know, it, but then you look at a couple other ones on this Shawnee team, too. They got some other people that can really hammer the ball down. OG comes back and they counter with the uh, Sienna Fry. Yep. You know, the University of Dayton commit, you know, that we just found out, that you know, Mark found out. And uh, so they, they can counter with some heavy hitters as well. Sienna is a 6'1 junior. She was first team all conference in the Western Buckeye League a year ago. They graduated Katie Kaufman off that team. And uh, if you're looking on our screen, to your right will be the Ottawa Glenner Titans in all white with gold trim. Shawnee is on your left. They are in the black uniforms with white numerals. First serve is taking place. That serve was taken by Addison Bellman. And what do we have? A miss hit the volleyball, and that first point will go to Shawnee. Our officials tonight on the stand, Mr. Leroy Clark, and on the floor, our R2 is Bob Gerdeman. Opening serve by Shawnee. This will be Carly Hutchins, the 5'9 junior. This is balls tipped out of the middle. That tip was done by K Caitlin Kimmett. And we are tied at one. That was a smart move by Caitlin Kim Kimmett on that one right there. You know, didn't try to hammer it too hard, just want to tip it over there, catch on or catch Otto Glarendorf where they shouldn't be. Kimmett then serves. This will be attempted to free ball over, but Rudy Still and Carly Hudson kind of got tangled up with each other, and the Titans will take a 2-1 lead as Kimmett will serve again. Goes to the libero. In the form of Maggie Johnson. And tipped out of the middle. What do we got? We've got somebody whose foot has gone all the way across the line. That would be... Amaya McLaughlin, number 15 for OG, were tied at two. Yeah, a tough break for OG because it looked like they were starting to get a little bit going there, taking a two-to-one lead. Now it's all tied up at two. Rudisil serves. Back set. Fry oh, hits down the line out. and puts it away. Well, that's what we nope, she hit about. it out of bounds, didn't she? Yeah, but it, that is a tough one to handle. When she gets up that elevation that she gets up there, and is able to get full swing bound. That's a tough ball to handle. 3-2 Shawnee on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Rudisil serve, hit over, and block. The block at the net by Jenna Upshaw. Hutchins tries to save it. Upshaw, Upshaw has to free ball it over. And then a big hit. Put that one away for Marley Buttlemeyer, the 5'9 junior, and we're tied at three. And Buttlemeyer with 54 kills coming into this match. Buttlemeyer will take a seat as Maya McLaughlin now checks in as the server, which means that the original violation could not have been done by her. She was on the bench when that took place. So the missed number by the official. That ball's hit long out of the middle by Upshaw. AG goes up for three.
Left-handed McLaughlin serves again. Just tipped back over, put right in a great spot by Madison McKee, the 5-1-1, 6-1 sophomore, it's 5-3 Titans. Yeah, another smart move by the front line of OG, just uh, tipping it over there, just finding where the Shawnee's not. To Rudisil, Hutchins will set. And out of the middle of the freshman upshaw with a big hit. Here's another free ball. Hutchins will set again. That set went to Kriegel. And a kill, uh -huh. put that one away for Ella White. 6-3 Titans. What a great volley that was back and forth. I mean, some great digs on that particular volley, and you know, White was able to finish it off, but I'll give credit to both of those teams. Uh, McLaughlin is second on the team with 28 aces on the season. It was by Kriegel. Back set, Fry, and got a yeah, touch. It's yes, it's a touch. That will be an OG point. The ball went beyond the end line, but did so because of the touch that occurred. And this is becoming a really good service run for McLaughlin. Float serve. Hutchins will set. Kill attempt by Brickner. And then a hit out in the middle. That one goes to Madison McKee. It is 8-3 OG. They're on a roll, and we're going to get our first time out. That will go to Shawnee. It's 8-3 Titans. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is by Ultima Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultima Outdoor. The scoreboard has Ottawa Glandorf on top, 8-3, with some dominating net play. Yeah, OG uh, coming back from being down two to three. You know, so they're on a five-point run right now. Maya McLaughlin will serve again. She does toe to the libero. Jordan, here's a hit out of the middle. And somebody was across the line again. And I think the number we got this time is Madison McKee. That will break the run and make it 8-4, but a really good service run. At five points. Libero Jordan serves. Set, hit. Oh, good block. It was a good block. Kinnear was up there along with Upshaw. This is Kinnear out of the middle. Kinnear again. Oh. She finally puts it away. A nice job by her, too, because she just found the open spot after she spiked it the first time. And then she sees an open spot on the left. 8-5. Fry coming straight down, and Jordan couldn't get to it. It's 9-5. Well, that's what I said earlier on, Mark. When she gets that elevation up there and has a chance to just swing overhand like that, you're not going to stop that one. 235 kills in 59 sets before this evening for Sienna. Rudisil hits. She gets a point for her team. Makes it 9-6. Russell still has 111 kills coming into this match, so it's going to be a lot of heavy hitters on both sides of the ball. This will bring Sydney Burris in. She plays in the back row. Upshaw plays in the front row. This will make her the setter, and Carly Hutchins will become a hitter in the front row. Jordan goes after that one and gets up into the ceiling on the ball put by McKee. Are there are some facilities which have very high open mm -hmm. ceilings. This is not one of them. No, it's, it's not. It's, it's not tight and low like, like some places are. Maybe average would be the right term, but it's not as spacious as some places. No, when it gets up there in those rafters, you don't have any idea where it's going to go. And that overpass ends up right in the wheelhouse of Caitlin Kimmett, and that makes it 11-6 out of one land door. Probably Kreas, the junior libero, will serve again. To Jordan. Burris sets. Hutchins hits. To the opposite side. That kill attempt goes to, I think it was Grace Colley. Nope, I'm sorry, Zella yep, White. White. Yep. And it's 12 6. Double them up, have the Titans over the Indians. 
Pray has to serve again. This line drives it into the net, makes it 12 7. Hey, you watch OG, and you know they've got Fry on the one side, but I'll tell you what, when they put Ella White in there as well, there's another asset for him. She coming in with 74 kills to this match. Sammy Reddick enters. Sammy will serve. Short set out of the middle. That's put away by Kimmett. 13 7. Kimmett's another one, you know, 125 uh, kills coming into the match. In to serve is Greta Liebrich. She will play the back row, and when she does, Ella White sits down. That's serve is short, 13 8. Back in will become Josie Hutchins. And Josie will serve. The Indians right now just seem a little bit out of sync. But uh, they've had a couple good rallies, but really mostly it's been OG. Shawnee has scored uh, two points only in service uh, in this particular set. Five, seven points on service for the Titans, and they will serve again. Back set to Hudson, it's blocked, it's blocked out of bounds. Marley Buttlemeyer was there. It's 14-9. The Indians really need to get on a run right here. They need to establish themselves, particularly on the serve. Here's Carly Hutchins to serve, and then become the setter as John Upshaw enters. Five block. Up into the rafters it goes, and by rule, the ball cannot hit the ceiling and go over the net. So that will be an Indian point. Make it 14-10. Kelly Hutchins to serve again. 38 aces for her this season. She leads the team. It's 15-10. Yeah. Play in the front row will be Madison McKee. And Carly Hutchins just hasn't got into it yet. But when she does, it's going to be bad news for OG. Upshaw's strong hit is into the tape. Makes it 16-10. And... That serve goes long from Caitlin Kimmett, and that will make it 16-11 in favor of the Titans. That's the break for the Indians, maybe the break that they need right now to get some kind of roll going. Leah Rudisell serves. That was Fry's hit. That's Upshaw's hit, and she puts it away. 16-12 now. Very talented freshman is John Upshaw at 5'10". Yeah, 171 kills for Upshaw this season and 73 digs for the freshman. The ball was left short by Madison McKee into the tape. Shawnee on a roll, makes it 16-13. I said that long serve by OG that went out of bounds just kind of gave him Shawnee second life. Just chalk an ace up. Give that one to Leah Rudisell. She has now scored three points in service. Serve goes right to the libero. Kreas back set, and that's going to be illegally hit. Double contact. Thing you look for if that setter is trying to do something on the move. It's much more difficult than if a feeder set. That's what the call was. Tipped over. Upshaw tried to get to it but could not. That breaks the string and makes it 17 15 after four points on service. From Leah Rudisil. Yeah, nice little tip over by Fry on that one. This will be McLaughlin to serve. She scored five points the last time she served. Blocked at the net. Good recovery. Jordan sets. The ball is hit that time by Kriegel. Tipped over. Hutchins comes to get it. Upshaw hits and puts oh. it away for Shawnee. 
As I said, Mark, she's she's left-handed, and which is, makes it really difficult when you're expecting to, somebody to, to spike it down with the right hand mostly. And she's left-handed. She's found a little spot right in the middle there that OG seems to have vacated. Sony with a chance to tie with this service. The libero Jordan serves. Fry. And right through the attempted play by Jordan. That's not her fault. That ball has to come to it. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not sure I'd even want him to stand in front of that one there. Sienna Fry will serve. Talk about some numbers. 23, 235 kills, 25 aces, six assists, and 75 digs this year for Sienna to Jordan. Hutchins will set. Upshot hits and hit it long this time. And that will make it 19-16, and we will get a second Shawnee timeout. They trail by three. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living in your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Shawnee has used both of their timeouts, and they trail by three in the opening set as Sienna Fry will serve again. Off the top of the net, Hutchins will set up Shaw. Yeah, she has really improved uh, when you watch Upshaw because you know, we were talking earlier on. She, you know, she's matured since the, earlier in the season. She's getting great elevation off of her jumps. You know, being able to bring it down hard. Here's Sydney Burris to serve. Set, hit. Burris digs it out of the net. Good tip over by Kinnear. That hit was by White. Good oh, play nice by Perez. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> Burris keeps it alive. Carly Hutchins hits. That's blocked. McKee blocked out. Here's Hutchins again. And blocked into traffic and blocked out of bounds. That was a, quite a point there. Yes, it was. It, a lot of good plays on that one there. Nice 19-18. Shawnee trying to tie it up for the first time since it was 3-3. Three to three. Burris. Thought she was going to get an ace. She didn't, but now it is tied at 19 as Kreas tried to hit it over, left it short, and we're going to get an OG timeout. We're tied at 19. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Have you listened to the Three Wise Men podcast? You can join Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, and Nick Garlock each week as they break down local football matchups, talk Buckeye football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio with a self-promoting name called themselves the Three Wise Men. <laughs> well, but, uh, I it is a good podcast. Ones, but yeah. I, I'll, I'll refrain right at the moment. We're tied at 19. OG has taken their first timeout. Shawnee is out of timeouts. Burris serves. Chris will set, but it got up into the rafters. Just got it over. Burris goes to Hutchins, cross court is blocked, and this time it also goes out of bounds. Shawnee now leads by one for the first time since it was 3-2. I'll tell you what, Mark, that was a great assist on that one just to get it over to Hutchins. Burris serves, and Burris chucks up an ace. 21-19. Oh, things are really turning around in a hurry here. Burris has served four consecutive points for her team, and they lead by two. Serves again, and that handcuffed the back row player. Makes it 22-19. And Burris with 11 aces coming into this, and she's really serving. She's serving it just a, over the top of the net. That put a lot had, on it. That ball had some serious movement to yes, it. Yes, it did. So did that one. Tipped over. Burris, here's the set by Jordan to Hutchins. She just three balls it over and rolls it over, I should say, right over top of those blockers and scored again. A couple of fastballs wow. in the changeup. I'll tell you what. 
She's serving some curveballs back here, too. OG will take their second and final timeout. Mentioned earlier in our telecast today, Shawnee has won one Western Buckeye League championship. That was last year in 2023. They are knocking on the door again. They still have one more league match to play. That would be on October 8th. And they will go to Kenton, who is 12 and 4, 4 and 3, heading into tonight's action. OG also has one more match. They will be at Defiance here on the 8th. Defiance is at Salina tonight. Defiance is having a good year also. They're 13 and 5, 5 and 2. So whoever wins this match will do no worse than tie for league championship, Dar, but they're going to have to win a significant yeah. match over good competition next week. They certainly are. There's not going to be any easy ones next week either. But this has really been a turnaround for the Indians because they were just, you know, seemed like they were just out of sync for a while. They couldn't exactly find the spots that they wanted to be at. And now they've just turned it completely around. Six consecutive service points make it seven consecutive service points for number nine, Sydney Burris. She has a chance to serve out the opening set. As we said, she's got a lot of movement on that ball. I mean, it, it looks like it curves away at the last minute. Burris again. That floats to the back row. Here's the set. Tipped over by White. Oh, God. Okay. To the nice back job. row and long. Good effort that time by Liz Kinnear, but the ball just went a bit long. And here we are at set point again, but this time the Titans will serve. Up in the ceiling it goes. Legal play by Jordan. Hutchins will hit. And that kill, you can give that one to Addison Bellman. She had uh, 23 kills before tonight. Makes it 21-24. Uh, the Titan says, we're not going to go away easy. That's for sure. Holy play as the junior libero serves. Hutchins will get a hit. And she hit it. And got a point. Carly Hutchins buries the ball off the libero. Carly Chris. And the opening set will go the way of the Ottawa Grand Titans. 25-21. Set two coming up after this. Watch high school volleyball on WOSN. Back at the Supreme Court here in Ottawa Glendor. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. Opening set goes the way of the Shawnee Indians that they were trailing by a score of 19 to 16. They got the serve back, and Sidney Burris went on a seven point run. They hit 24-19, they closed it out at 25-21. Mark Schein, Mark Schein, Dar Nevergal here. They just turned it on there, Dar. Oh, they did. I mean, when it first started out, it looked like OG was just going to run away with that first set. I mean, they, they came on strong. But then all of a sudden, after a, a miss you know, served by OG, Shawnee just kind of picked it up from that point on and uh, got the rhythm back. And they really hammered it home after that. And there's an ace to start out set number two. That will go to Carly Hutchins. She leads this team with 38 aces. And she just got set two underway with an ace. Second team all-conference a year ago. That's going to change this year, Dar. Yeah, absolutely. It better change this year. <laughs> it I will, think. yep. Serves again. That one dives across. Played by Carlos. Crafus, excuse me. Here's now Hutchins will set. Back set. Block. Oh, Keep it alive. They did. How about that play? Free balled over. Set by Bellman and pounds it away. Put that one away and give it to Madison McKee. 6 1 sophomore. Madison McKee with 99 kills coming into this match. So. Tied at one. Hutchins will set. Oh, I'll tell you what. And Gianna Upshaw announces her presence with authority. I stole that from the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, that big left hand. Yeah, how about man. that? 
Here comes Leah Rudisil, 5'6", senior. Really good serve, just ate up the receiver. Can they free ball it over? They do, but they hit it out of bounds. So it's 3-1. And the Indians have really picked it up on their serves. I'll tell you what. And some of these, if you watch them go over, just die quickly. Tipped over. Jordan becomes a setter this time. Hutchins from the back row. Up in the ceiling it goes. Shawnee will get the point out of it on the back row attack from Carly Hutchins. Playing a little rafter ball over there. As Leah Rudisell will serve again. Set out of the middle, tipped over. Jordan has to set again. Bellman back sets to Fry, and Sienna puts it away. For two Indians. Yeah, if you can get it over to Fry and give her the, the opportunity just to bring her, that big Paul down, she's going to make you pay. Carly Kreas gets an ace. Carly had eight of those before tonight. Get a four-point run back in the middle of that last set. And that serve is long. Good job by Jordan to get out yeah, of the way of that one. Way. Yep. To make it 6-3, Shawnee. I didn't think for a minute there she was going to be able to get her out of the way. Back set to Fry. She tips it over this time. Puts it in a perfect place. It's 6-4, Shawnee. That shows the intelligence of that player right there, just to be able to know exactly where the uh, – Opposition's at, and they've been able to tip it over that way and find an empty spot. Here's Maya McLaughlin. Maya had a five-point run when she served in the opening set. Upshaw. Upshaw hit it off the libero, Kreis. Ball rode up on her. It's now it's 7-4, Shawnee. Really good JV volleyball match this evening. It went three sets. OG won the first set 25-21. Shawnee won 25-20. And then OG took the final set 25-20. To take a two-set to one victory in our JV match. That's going to be an ace. And guess who just did that? Sydney Burris again. 8-4. Sydney had that really nice service run where she scored seven points. When she got served, her team trailed 19-17. And she put on a seven-point run. And she rolls oh, another one that. over. That's one of those, you, Mark, you just look at yeah. it and be like, uh, what do I do to that? Here's Kennedy Fuqua into the game. Getting some back row help as they've had trouble on serve receive from Sidney Burris. Ball goes right to Fuqua. Back set to Fry off the net, and it falls in. Uh, that's one way to stop a run. Just get it over there and let Fry just. Take the point. Need some points? Go to, go to Sienna Fry. Now Sienna gets to serve. Left hand serve goes out. Really good play by Jordan. She's done it a couple times now, realizing the ball is going to sail along and bailing out on it. Proper time. And that's tough to do. I mean, you got you got to know what the projected. Is. Projection of that ball is and the speed and everything else. Hopefully you're getting some help from your teammates on the bench. That set goes. In. Hutchins hits and Carly Hutchins rocks up another point. It's 11-5 Indians. Well, if you're OG, you don't want to see Hutchins get wound up because you know she can put a lot of points out there. There's Reddick to serve, Sammy. Just scored that last point. Oh, good job. Too much block at the net. Hutchins hit it long. Was it touch? Shawnee wants a touch. And you know, the official on top of the stand says, I got it. There was a touch. And OG says, we're down 12-5. We need a timeout in set two. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN.
Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day. The luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. The scoreboard shows the Shawnee Indians up on the Otto Grinnell Titans 12-5 here in set two. And Shawnee won the opening set. And Leah Rudisil will, excuse me, Sam Reddick will serve again. He is in the front row right now. Now you can see the Indians' confidence building every every time. And, you know, when Burst goes back there, particularly when she's serving, you know, they really get aggressive. Overpass, and it hits the antenna. 13-5. Titans have struggled with serve receive tonight. Yeah, they certainly have. And, and give credit to the Indian servers, too, because Absolutely. they are really making that ball die. Quick set. That's blocked. Back set. Fry. Burris will set. And what do we have? We have a double contact by the setter. We'll make it 13-6. Shawnee with a seven-point lead, and to serve will be Caitlin Kimmett, one of just two seniors on Coach Hallenstein's Steins' team. Hutchins out of the middle, it's blocked, but it fell on the side of the Titans, and that point will go back to Shawnee. Now, what do we got? Been an argument about which side the ball actually fell yeah, on. Yeah, we're going to have some discussion now. The scoreboard still says 13 6 while they discuss it. And we're going to have a conference between our two officials. I like this, Dark. Get it right. Get it right. You know, I mean, you'd like to think that you see the call and you got, you know, your eyes and partner's eyes and two line judges and so on, but let's make sure we get it right. It's too big of a match to, oh, to not let get it right. So here's a conference here between. Leroy Clark, Clark and Bob Gerdeman. And that was a tough one, too, because it was hard to tell which side it really I fell agree. from here. From our angle, I thought yeah. it fell on Shawnee's I, side. I thought so, too. Yeah, but the initial call, and we're up here in a, kind of a disadvantaged place yeah. to, to view that. So what's the call? It will be a replay. How about that? Well, that, that we'll take that. <laughs> and that's a smart call because neither one of them really knew which side it fell on. So the score is now, it says 13-12. Hmm. Jordan. Burris plays it over. Set. And White goes down the line and got it in. Wow. Not by much, but she certainly did. And that will make it 12-7. As Kimmett serves again, that also sailed a bit long. OG's been struggling with returning serves. They're often struggling with actually serving the ball. Number 12 will check in Mackenzie Brickner for Shawnee. He just tipped the ball over. It's hit to the back row to Burris. Jordan sets. Rudis still tries to put it away and can't. That ball went off a couple of hands. Up in the rafters it goes. Oh, nice Really job. nice play. Yeah, Reddick kept it alive after it got up into the ceiling. That's three balled over. And what's the call? Up over the net. Oh, yeah, they got a – I wonder if the ball was uh, in the point of the net on the side of Ottawa Glen, or from our angle we couldn't tell. And you can see the official said that the ball was not in the plane of the net on the uh, Titan side. Shawnee gets the point for reaching over. Right down the line we go, and this time White misses the sideline. Yeah, I don't think she got a clean shot at that one there. Kind of hit off the side of her hand and curved away down that sideline. 15-7. That's emphatically done. Put away by Madison McKee. That will make it 15-8. We've seen Madison McKee do that a couple times, you know, just be able to swipe it down. But a Liebrick will serve. And it floats and lands in. She gets an ace. That time Jordan didn't get the help from her teammates on the bench that she wanted. The ball died. 
in play. 15-9. Burris sets. Hutchins hits. To the back row and out. Not only Buttermar hit that ball, she said it was touched. And yes, the line judge said, you are correct, yep. it was touched. That's why you have four <laughs> sets of eyes out there, that's, Dar. Absolutely. That's team 10. reaction from everyone. Burris will set Hutchins. That's blocked, but that one definitely goes on the side of OG. And Shawnee will take a 16-10 lead. Upshaw back in there again on that front line. She has proven to be a force there this evening. Charlie Hutchins will serve. Bellman will set. And what do we got? Whistle and... And the whistle blew a long time before that play ended. And we have an Indian was in a net. I believe it was number 12 trying to read the official signal. That would be Mackenzie Brickner. Hutchins will set. Upshaw hits. And that goes off the ceiling. As I said earlier, the ball cannot legally touch the ceiling, go over the net. So Shawnee gets the point. 17-11. And now the Indians have uh, Upshaw and Hutches up there. Rolled over. Hutchins back sets up, Upshaw and that stay in bounds. It did. 18 11. That's a dangerous combo up there with Hutchall and Hutchins up there. Tipped over. Jordan's going to have to set from a libero position. That's blocked. Once that third contact occurs where the ball is directed towards the net, it's okay to reach over and block. That's what Madison McKee did. Makes it 18 12 now, Shawnee. And Libero crashed to serve. Oh, good serve. It was. Hutchins will set off a block. That block was done by Caitlin Kimmett. 18-13. If she can continue to serve like that, this is going to be tough for the Indians because they really got some muster on that serve. Hutchins tracks it down right at the net. And hit it right on the back line, did Mackenzie Brickner. Good call by the line judges to see that one down there. And that will allow Mackenzie to go back and serve. She has 16 aces this year. Back set to fly, tipped over this time. And, and she's going to get a point out of it. It's fun to watch Fry play because, you know, sometimes she, you know, she knows when to spike it. She also knows when just to touch it over. In this set, Ottawa Glandorf has scored just five points on service. And they trail by five. Hutchins tracks it down. Ball hit the antenna. Upshaw did what she could, but the ball hit the antenna. Yeah, a couple miss hits on that one there. 19-15. And that oh, is nice an ace. Serve. Wow. That rifled down for Kennedy Fuqua. My stat page says she had one ace before this evening. That was a good time to that chalk up ace was. number two. And that one kind of looked like a knuckleball coming across there for a second. And that one is short. So Shawnee will maintain a four-point lead as they get the service back. 
And this will bring in Sydney Burris to serve. And we know what happens when Sydney Burris is serving. See if she can continue that her domination back there. Scored seven points in set one. Quick set. Yep. Kill out of the middle goes to Caitlin Kimmett. Caitlin Kimmett with 125 kills coming into this match. And she's had a couple, two or three of them here. Sienna Fry will serve this. Burris sets. Hit with by Kriegel. Tipped over this time. Oh. Good job by Burris to keep it alive. White rolls it over. Bellman goes and gets that set. Jordan will set Hutchins. Carly hits off a, a blocker. White runs it down. That was blocked at the net. Mackenzie Brickner was though, so was Addie Kriegel. One of the two got the point. It is 21-17, Shawnee. And they really had to work hard for that point, too, because that was a great volley back and forth. Sammy Reddick serves. Fry from behind the 10-foot line, and she gets a point. 21-18. Caitlin Kimmett to serve. She and Kennedy Fuqua are the only seniors on Maddie Howenstein's team. And she rolls it over. Oh, good play by Hutchins. And what do we got? Illegal contact, prolonged contact. The lead is down to two. And we talked about this before. We know how they get to some of these balls, I have no idea the reaction they have. Timeout, Shawnee. They still lead by two. You're watching High School Volleyball, WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living in your backyard every day. You can luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Shawnee still with a two-point lead, have taken their first timeout in set two. OG has taken a timeout much earlier, so each has one timeout left. Now we have the captain, Leah Rudisill, having a discussion with our R1, and she will take whatever information she learned back to her coach. Service will continue for Caitlin Kimmett. Burris will set Hutchins out of the middle. Oh, my. Carly Hutchins with a big kill. 22-19, Shawnee. I'll tell you, Mark, when you see that coming at you, your eyes got to get really big. Here's Maggie Jordan to serve, the senior libero. Waiting just long enough for that ball was Ella White, and she was able to direct it straight down once the ball crossed the net into her plane. Up to the two-point lead again. Well, it's everything you expected from two teams that are undefeated in the, in the WBL. Greta Liebrecht to serve. Back set to Hutchins. Carly hits into a block, and the block went out of bounds. Madison McKee has just a little bit too much on it. And it is a three-point Shawnee lead. They need two to close out set two. Hutchins dropping back to serve now, and Upshaw back in the front line. That ball's up in the ceiling. Good save on the sideline by Buttlemeyer. Hutchins will back set. That was blocked. No, it was not blocked. It's going to be four contacts. Nobody from OG touched it. 23-21. Shawnee hanging on to a lead as a setter. Addison Bellman will serve. She has 29 aces this year to lead the Titans. Good serve there, too. Upshaw tips it over. OG's going to get a chance. 
And that kill will go to Marley Buttlemeyer. She hit it through the blockers. The ball fell on Shawnee's side. And it is 22-23. Trying to tie it up in set two. And what a set two. A oh. Diving play by Jordan. Upshaw hits. Back set to Fry. Her shot's blocked. Hutchins will set again. This time it's Rudisil. Too far over on that one side. Too far underneath there. OG, which trailed by seven at 18-11, has knotted it up at 23. And Shawnee will take their final timeout. Tournament draw comes up this Sunday. If you're looking for where these two teams will go, Shawnee is in the Northwest District 2. That is that played at Kaleida once opening round matches are done. Teams in that conference, in that tournament are Bowling Green, Salina, Defiance, Elida, Lima Senior, Maumee, Shawnee, and Wapak. The Division 5 district that Ottawa Glendorf is in, that will be played at Miller City. That involves Bath, Bluffton, Elmwood, Fairview, Fostoria, Ottawa Glendorf, and Paulding. The district action tournament draw is this Sunday. In about 7 o'clock Sunday night, W Center start looking at where do we want to <laughs> go for to go. tournament volleyball. It's a two-point match here in set two. 23 off. Who can get up by two? Hutchins will set. It's blocked. Oh. What a comeback by OG. And they will take a 24-23 lead. Couple players there, Kimmett and McKee. And now they're going to try to serve out the set. Hutchins will set again. Upshaw. That one's blocked. Yeah. That's Sent it. it back by Marley Buttlemeyer, and OG comes back to take set two, 25-23. Back to set three. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Supreme Court here in Ottawa Glendorf, where our scoreboard drive is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living in your backyard every day. Luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Darn Evergall at one point. Shawnee led 18-11 in set two. But OG went on a 14-5 run and won that set 14 of uh, 25-13. Yeah, they did a great job in that second set of reestablishing themselves as far as getting to the ball and keeping the ball alive. That was the key thing, just keeping it alive to set up your big heavy hitters on, up the front line. And when they were able to do that, they were able to put it away. But, you know, this could be an interesting, you know, third set because there's a lot of energy expelled in that second set. Burris will set. Back set to Fry. That comes straight down, and Sienna puts her team up 1-0 in the third set. And you've really got to give those people that are setting the Sienna Fry up a lot of credit because they're putting it up there just high enough that she has full force from that point. Addison Bellman is the setter. She and Fry are both juniors and probably spent a whole lot of time on the volleyball court together, and we get an ace. We'll give that one to Bellman. The team's up 2-0. The momentum carries through into set three that they had to end. Set number two. Here's Bellman again. Burris will back set. Hutchins hits. That's blocked out of bounds. And that will send Carly Hutchins back to serve. Looking for her stat numbers. 38 of those on the season have been aces for Carly. Good serve right there. This is going to go cross court to Buttlemeyer. And Hutchins from behind the 10 foot line. Hit it long. It's 3 1. That's a tough one to hit without making it go long. We could tell from our angle, it, had yeah. nice, it was dropping down, but not quickly enough. Here's the libero, Harley Krafus to serve. Hutchins will set now, and big hit by Upshaw. Another big hit. Hutchins has to free ball it over, almost got it to oh, an open yeah. spot. Fry, that was an incredible point by Ottawa Glandorf. 
And they will go up 4-1. It's Johnny trying to argue a little bit to she was over. Upshaw will get another hit. Bellman will set out of the middle. Good, dig. Good job, yes. Jordan kept that one alive. Fly tips it over. Hutchins will set. And she's called for double contact. 5-1, Ottawa Grandors. Well, I'll tell you, Mark, you can't, you can't count them. OG's the one coming out strong in this set. We've seen it too many times in the first two sets that the teams just can't maintain it. Chris served, went over the left sideline. And will be a 5-2 OG lead as Shawnee serves. Back set to Fry. Two blockers were there. Hutchins will set up shot. I noticed that Addie Kriegel now has some tape on her hand. She must have taken a, a spill, took a ball off of it or something. Her right hand, 6-2. Here's Kennedy Fuqua to serve. Her serve is long, 6-3. I'm surprised you don't see more players with jam fingers. <laughs> Tape on everything. Here's Mackenzie Brickner, 5'9 senior to serve. She has 16 aces this year. Bellman will set. White just has to play it over. Hutchins sets up Upshaw. Back set to fly. From behind the 10 foot line, Leah Rudisell. Leaves it short in the net. It's 7-3 Titans. It's tough to get the elevation. You need to get it over the net. And here is Sienna Fry to serve. Jordan has to go down and get that one. And that pass got a little bit too close to the net. Kriegel couldn't do anything with it. Makes it 8-3. And we are going to get a Shawnee timeout. Titans off to a good start in set number three. Eight three, they lead. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Supreme Court here at Ottawa Glendorf High School. OG has taken an eight three lead in set number three. And Shawnee has taken their first time out of this set. Santa Fry will serve to Jordan. Hutchins will set out of the middle. Oh, and good we've job, got Jordan. somebody in the net. What do we got? We got a whistle. And we had a Titan in the net. And quite honestly, I was looking for a number. I think it was 24, Caitlin Kimmett. And as we said a couple of times here, our angle is not the best to see things like that. And we're going to call over Leah Rudisell, the Shawnee captain, to explain something to her. And she will go back and explain something to her coach, McCutcheons, and we'll move on. 8-4 Titans, set, white hits. Carly Hutchins will hit this one, and she will get a point. Makes it 8-5. That ball di died really quickly on OG. There was no way you were going to even dig that one out. Here's Sydney Burris. Her turn to serve for the Indians. Skims off the top of the net. Bellman makes a good save. Fry tips it over. Jordan will set again. And Hutchins hits. Burris played that one. Good diving attempt by Jordan, but they couldn't keep it alive, and it will be a 9-5 tight lead. That's one of the things, Mark, when it hits up in the rafters, you don't know where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. Plus, it usually comes down twice as fast as it went up. The number of times that Jordan has had to set tonight has done a good job doing so from her libero position. Free ball. See what Titans do with it. His ball's hit to Burris. There's Jordan with a set again. 
Kriegel had to hit, and then that putting it away at the net is Hutchins. Carly gets a point. 9 6. Like I said, neither, neither team's been able to really maintain their, you know, that lead. You know, once they get out a little bit of a lead, the other one just comes right back again. Overpass is blocked on Hudson's attempt. That point will go to Bellman. She's a front row player who can legally block in that situation. Her team's up 10 6. And to serve will be Greta Liebrick. Burris tracks it down. Brickner hits. Oh. And who hit the net? Somebody did. Oh, nope, they got uh, Madison McKee for reaching over the net again. That ball popped up in the air, yeah, and you see did. it up there like that big lollipop, and you say, I want to hit that one, and it's hard to make yourself wait sometimes. Absolutely. Bellman will set in the middle again, and that one was well played. Madison well, McKee took that one and directed it straight down. And that, that seems to be her M.O. right now. She's she just getting up her high enough. She just wants to slap it right down. 11-7. It's Bellman serves. Hutchins gets that hit. There's a free ball. Burris will set again. But she set it too far. Oh, what a scramble play. This is wow, turning this into be, yeah. <laughs> There's a block at the net, and it's going to fall. Wow. Leah Rudisil got the block, but the ball fell on the floor before a teammate could get to it. OG 12-7 as Bellman gets to serve again. That was organized chaos if I've ever seen it. Burris sets. Brickner hits it into the net. It's 13-7. Six-point lead. For the Titans. That was a good serve. Yes, it was. Burris will set up Carly Hutchins. That's blocked. Luton still hits it over. That's blocked. It's been a good net series so far as it goes out of bounds. This set has been a good net set for the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, and they've taken a double up lead at 14-7. It's all starting with the serves that are coming across and just kind of dying real quick. Good serve by Bellman. Burris runs it down. Hutchins from behind the 10-foot line gets a kill. Well, Carly Hutchins says that's enough. <laughs> Great overspin on the balls that got over the net and dove. And puts her team at a six-point deficit. And now Carly gets to serve. Good serve from her to Kreis. Fry. And that will fall after the block. Nobody was able to scramble and pick it up. 15-8. Thought the Indians a little flat-footed on that one. Carly Kreis gets to serve. Overpass, and it put it right into the wheelhouse of Caitlin Kimmett. And it's 16-8. And Caitlin waited until the ball was over the net and put it away emphatically. And I'm not what? sure it's going to go to OG. They got somebody in net, didn't they? Yep. But honestly, I was watching the hit on the ball. I did not see who was in the net, so we'll make it. Take that point away and make it 15-9. Seemed like a little late on the, on yeah. the call, but. Well, R2 is going to discuss things with the scores table to make sure the score is correct at 15-9 Titans. And there's, oh, good play. The ball rode up on Kreis, but she kept it alive. Hutchins will back set up shot, and that will be a touch. Good call. It's 15-10 OG. The Indians can continue to set up Upshaw. Whenever she's on the front line, they're going to get some points. And the serve is out. 16-10, Titans. Why McLaughlin will enter to serve. 
5 at 7 at junior. Back row player. That's 28 aces this year. And that's going to be a point off of service for her at 17 10. She had a real good service run in set number one. Her team is up seven here in this set. Hutchins will set. White hits it over. Good return. Back set to Upshaw. Oh, just in. Makes it 17-11 OG on the hit by Gianna Upshaw, the 5-10 freshman. Getting better and better every game Boy, out ever. there. Sort of sailed out of bounds. 18-11. And the Lady Indians kind of shooting themselves in the foot right now when it comes to their serves. In the second set, Shawnee was up 18-11. And when from there on out, OG outscored them 14-5. And that will be an ace. It is 19-11. An eight-point lead on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Sienna Fry with another serve opportunity. That one's over the net. Played back by Kimmett. And it's 20 to 11. And Coach Hutchins says, my team needs a timeout. They trail by nine here in set number three. WSN, we're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and on Apple TV. Watch that stuff anywhere you want, darling. Uh, anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. Good run right now for the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. They've pretty much been in control of this set at one point. It was six to three, and since that time, they've been on a pretty good roll to get up this nine-point lead here in set number three. We've really seen some great volleys back and forth in this set. You know, a lot of good reaction, a lot of good digs. So Sienna Fry will step behind the service line. Shawnee has used both of their timeouts in this set. They broke service the last time that they called a timeout. See if they can do so this time. Fry serve. And that does break the momentum as her serve goes out of bounds. It is 20 to 12. Sydney Burris enters to serve. That puts Carly Hutchins in the front row. Burris becomes a server and then will set from the back row. Good serve from her. Oh, my. We've seen this before, haven't we? <laughs> we sure have. I mean, it just dies when it gets across that net. 20 to 13. Burris went on a seven-point run in the opening set. when her team was trailing. On it when it gets over that net, but it's hard to handle. In the opening set, her team trailed 19 to 17 when Sydney Burris got an opportunity to serve. By the time she was done, her team was up 24-19 and went on to win the opening set 25-21. Shawnee came back, or Ottawa oh, Glendorf came back to win the second set 25-23, and the Titans have just taken a timeout here in set number three. OG still leads 20 to 14. Where are you at Friday night, Dar? Where's your football game at? I'm at Liberty Benton with Pandora Gilboa at Liberty Benton. That's for the BBC that, lead, isn't it? BBC lead, so. Seems like you get to this time of the year, then you end up with the best team playing each other. I it will, should be a good one. I will be at the Delphus at Stadium Park. Coldwater Cavaliers come to play. Delphus St. John's Blue Jays. Here's OG to serve. Set. A big hit out of the middle. Give that one to Caitlin Kimmett. Yeah, that was perfect. Got a senior in the front row like that. 
Things a little bit shaky. Yeah. Give them the ball, let them do their thing, and now Caitlin gets to serve. Yeah, that was a perfect set for her, too. 21-15. And we're going to get sub in. This will bring in Sammy Reddick. Sammy will play in the back row, and Eddie Kugel will sit down. We're on a string, one plays front row, one plays back. Bellman to set. White hits, and Ella hit it long. 21-16. Sony trying to make a run here in this third set. Sammy Reddick, a junior, 11 aces coming in. Bellman sets again. White hits again. That one's blocked. That block goes to Liz Kinnear. And it's 21-17. Now we said it before, that neither team can really have a comfortable lead. Up in the ceiling it goes, and that's going to be an ace. 21-18. Sandy Reddick getting things done from the service line. She scored three consecutive points to cut the lead to three. Bellman tracks it down. Here's a set out of the middle. We'll give that kill to Madison McKee, 22-18. Yeah, Madam, Madison McKee, you know, just really gets a fair high, too, to get that and put that ball down. And they really needed that at that time. Here's Greta Liebrich to serve, play the back row. Dive Boy, and that serve. Time. Jordan did a nice job to get to that one. That was blocked. Give that one to McKee. 23-18. She's really done a great job at the net of just getting up mm -hmm. her high and just putting it straight down where you can't get to it. Maggie, Maggie Jordan made a really nice play, but point goes to OG. And there's another one. It again. The ball was overpassed. Got up above the height of the net onto the OG side. She puts it down with two hands. Her team is a point away from taking the third set. Burris will set. Hutchins hits. And she Whoa. pounded it off of Kreis. 24-19. Not much Carly could do with that one. Oh, that was a little bit of a... Uh... Adrenaline flowing right there for, for Hutchins. Here's Maggie Jordan to serve. And she gets an ace. 24-20. Timeout Ottawa Glandorf. The number of times, Dar, the point number 25 is the hardest one <laughs> to is. get. It you certainly know. is. See teams get to 24, the other team's fighting like crazy. Sometimes you, you force the action a little bit, trying to make that perfect play, and that point number 25 can be awfully difficult to get sometimes. Well, you got to be careful that you one point to win this, and suddenly you look up, and you need, now you need two points to win it. And even if Shawnee cannot and come back and win this set after they Trail by six just a moment ago at 24-18. Maybe get a little bit of momentum for themselves if they finish this set strong. And even if they lose the set, it might put them in a position to start out set four well. Timeout's complete. Maggie Jordan behind the service line. The Indians just have to be careful to get it away from he up front there. We are out of timeouts. Both teams have called. There are two timeouts for this set. And that's another great serve. It's 24-21. Jordan back to serve for another time. This will be her third serve. Well, it's low going over the net, and then it just completely dies once it gets over. This is going to be free balled over. Burris will set. Hutchins will get a hit, and Carly oh, puts it away. That's just the way you teach it. Get a good pass to the center, get a good set, and let your big hitter go after it. Suddenly it's 24-22. 24-22. And the serve dropped right on the back line. 24-23. Wow. Here come the Indians. And Jordan's having a field day back here. 
She has served four consecutive points. Shawnee needs one more to tie it. Bellman will set. Out of the middle, it's blocked, and that will be a point. Give the point to Madison McKee. And set number three will go the way of the Ottawa Glendale Titans, 25-23. They take a two set to one lead. And we have set four action coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball, WOSN. We're back at the Supreme Court here at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living in your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Ottawa Glendorf comes back to take set number three, 25-23. They have a two set to one lead. Dar, I've said this many times on our telecast, when we get to set four, I think sometimes if there's gonna be sloppy play during the evening, it's the first eight or 10 points of set four. We've been playing for an hour, very competitive, yep. a little bit of relaxation. Now we'll see what happens because OG kind of hung on in one set three. Shawnee was on a bit of a roll. I'm curious to see how the first part of this particular set goes. Oh, absolutely. And Shawnee really has to come out strong in this set. They really need to put some distance between them and OG in this set and score at least, you know, try to get at least the first four or five points ahead. And they will send Carly Hutchins to serve as we begin set number four. Western Buckeye League Championship on the line tonight, and that serve goes long. Ottawa Glendorf takes the first point of this set. And their setter now, Addison Bellman will serve, 5'7", junior. Hutchins will set Upshaw. Bellman will back set to Fry, who just threat, tried to direct it across the net and left it short. We're tied at one. Saw an open area, tried to push it there. Yeah, a little bit. And just left it short. But the Indians really got to find a, you know, some open spots on the so deep. Bellman will set out of the middle. Upshaw hits. That had a little curve on it. Fry hits, and Sienna Fry scores a point for her team at 2-1. Well, this OG team has really come a long way since they opened up the season at 3-6, and six, I'll tell you that. And they've done so with just two seniors on this team. That becomes an ace as the ball got up into the rafters. Carly Preyes gets an ace. Good movement on that serve. Hutchins will set Upshaw out of the middle, and she missed the sideline. It's 4-1. And we talked about, too, as far as conditioning and, and you know, you, I know you're, by, you're in the fourth set. You've got to be tired. You know, just don't overthink it. And give that an ace as she bangs it off of Leah Rudisil. It is 5-1. Not the start that the Indians want to have. Press will serve again. Good serve. It was. Hutchins will back set Upshaw. It's blocked. Give that block to Caitlin Kimmett. And OG has come out on fire here in set three. 6 1 lead. And they've done it with, they've been able to do it with the serve as, as well as some great play up front. And that ball. Man just died in front of Leah Rudisil and becomes another ace. It's 7-1, and Shawnee realizes the situation. Coach Brooke Hutchins takes a timeout. Her team trails by six. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of your scores. And what do you do at halftime on Friday night of the football game you're calling? <laughs> go right, go right to the app and check your score like everybody else in the press box does. <laughs> yes, they do. 
We're back at action here, and once again, Carly Kreis will serve. And up in the rafters it goes. Hutchins makes a great save. They free balled over, but it goes out of bounds. It's 8-1. Sean Lee did the best you could do with a bad circumstance, but it went long. Here comes number 13, Emily McKissick, in to play in the back row. Yeah, junior. And she gets an immediate serve. Upshaw hits. Is it touched or not? It was not. It was hit out of bounds. It's 9-1. And again, you can you wonder if you're how tired they're getting up in that front there. She was able to get the elevation, but not as much as she usually does. Seven points for Kreis on this serve. And she tries to make a good diving play on a ball hit by Addie Kriegel, but can't save it. And that ends the run, but a good run for her of seven points. Burris come back in to serve now for the Indians. And we'll have a little discussion now on who is supposed to be the server and who belongs where. Jordan's going to drop back. And let's see what goes on here. And we're having some discussion about the legality of this substitution. Because if Gianna Upshaw left the floor, she cannot come back in until one point takes place. And I think that's what the call was. And I think she left one play early because that means Burris is now going to be a front row player. And the libero, Maggie Jordan, serves. She had a good run at the end of set number three. Good save by Bellman. Fry keeps it in. Nope, she hit it outside the antenna. You got to be impressed with Jordan's serves too, man. They just now here, Coach Hutchins asking if she can make that substitution, and she does. Now that one point had disappeared off the scoreboard, she's allowed to make that move, and that brings Jan Upshaw back in the game. Back set to Fry. This is going to be free balled over by Kriegel. Bellman short set. That play was by Kimmett. Upshaw block. Bellman will back set fly, who hits it off of two blockers and scores. It's 10-3. OG's much improved on that front line, defense and offense, than what they were in the, earlier on. Kennedy Fuqua, Caitlin Kimmett, the only seniors that coach Matty Howenstein has this year. Howen Stein, excuse me. And what? Somebody was in the net, and I think they backed into the net. And quite honestly, I could not see the number because I was blocked out by the stanchion yeah. on the far side. <laughs> Either way, it is 10-4. And Shawnee will serve. Oh, great serve. And we'll chalk that up as an ace to Burris. Imagine that. Sydney has yet another great service this evening. Makes it 10-5, Titans. Burris again to serve. Senior makes another good serve. Bellman has to go get that one. Roll shot over. Burris got to that ball. Jordan will set, and Hutchins will hit. A good block. Burris will set Hutchins again. She tips it this time, but Bellman's right where she belongs. Set to Fry, and Sienna hits it off a blocker. Not sure OG could have played that point any better. They got a really good set from their libero, Carly Kreis, in the front row. Really good job by her. Fry serves. Hutchins will hit through two blockers. Bellman will set. White hit that one. Carly Hutchins gets another one. This time she hits it two, through two blockers to make it 11-6. And Sammy Reddick will enter. Sammy will play the back row and serve. 
And both teams doing a good job of getting it to their big hitters. When it comes to Fry on one side, Hutchins on the other. And an ace. Sammy Reddick with another ace. She had 11 before this evening. Shawnee's slowly getting back in this. They trailed 9-1 to one at one point. They've got it to 11-7. And Reddick will serve again. Bellman goes a long way to get that one. Fry from behind the 10-foot line can only push it over. Hutchins winds up and hits it the two blockers again. It goes out of bounds, 11-8. Oh, she's impressive when she's open on the other side over there. She's in the front row. You know it. Need a point? Yep. And that's where you go. Quick set. Oh, good dig. It was. Hutchins again. This time she tips it. I said Bellman. Okay. <laughs> Bellman tried to play it twice, and for a moment I thought she got away with it. Fisher was on top of it and got the call. It's 11-9. Basically just get, trying to get the ball off of me. <laughs> Set out of the middle, and Bellman goes off. Excuse me, not Bellman, but Timmett went off of the blocker and makes it 12-9. But a good run by the Indians. Now we'll see if OG can regain the momentum. They get themselves back in the game. Caitlin Kimmett serves. Hutchins out of the middle again. Overpass. And Shawnee had the ball fall on their side of the floor. I think Madison McKee got another one at the net. She has been a dominant force there, the 6-1 sophomore. Pass to, yeah, pass to Fry. She passed to push it over this time. Brickner hit that one. Little joust at the net. Bellman hits it to the back row, and it falls. Oh, my goodness. Addison Bellman had 23 kills before this evening as the setter. And she put that one away in the back row and gives her team a five-point lead. Hutchins out of the middle, tips it's an open area, but Bellman got to it. They're trying to keep it away from the front They set line white. Burris will set Hutchins again, and it's blocked out of bounds. At that time, the Indians tried to play it away from the key as much as they could. Sidney Burris, the senior setter, has continually set Carly Hutchins in this rotation. and It's gotten him back in the match. And that's going to be a legal contact as it got up into the ceiling and came down at an awkward angle to make it 14-11. Good serve. Boy, I'll tell you. Bellman. Give that one to Ella White at 15-11. And a good set from Addison Bellman. Addison Bellman had 491 sets, uh, uh, assists, excuse me, in 59 sets. Isn't that amazing? She has had a wonderful year. Burris sets Hutchins again. Back set to Fry. That was a little off the net. And because of that, she hit it a bit long. Yeah, she had an awkward angle on that one to try to hit it. A little bit over her head. 15-12, the lead has stayed around three recently. Now Carly Hutchins is in the back row and she will serve. Oh, and that oh. ball died right on the back yes, line for did. Marley Buttlemeyer. Wow. She had just enough top spin on it to get it to die. Puts her team up four as Addison Bellman will serve. Upshaw's in. Her shot's blocked by two blockers. She's going to get another opportunity. Nope, it's overpassed. There's Fry at the net. And that hill's going to come out of the back row. 16-13. Good play there by Hutchins just to get that in over at all. 
Addie Krieger will enter. She plays the front row, and Sammy Reddick plays the back row in that rotation. And it goes out 17-13. AG hanging to a four-point lead. Caitlin Kimmett enters to play the front row. Well, they got off to a fast start, but they've been able to maintain at least somewhat of a lead. Hutchins, that time she set up Upshaw. That goes off a blocker, overpass. And right there at the net is Caitlin Kimmett, who just checked in a moment ago and makes it 18-13. Well, Kimmett doing a little uh, a key impersonation there. This will be a Shawnee timeout. They trail by three, by five in set number four. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Shawnee has taken their second and final timeout of set four. They trail by five. And that goes out of bounds on a tempting shot by Addie Kriegel. Well, as we mentioned, the winner of this match can do no less than the tie for the WBL league. Carly Kreis, who has done a masterful job of serving the last couple of sets. Upshaw hits. And trying to get to it and make a play on it in the back row was Greta Liebrich. She couldn't get there on a really good hit by Upshaw to make it 19-14. Oh, still maintaining that lead, though. Lola Barrow, Maggie Jordan. And Kim had hit that one. Now, what's the call? The call was that number 14, Shawnee, Liz Kinnear, was in the net. So it'll be 2014. Titans five points away from a four-set victory. Pushed over by Addie Kriegel. She gets a point as a block fell on the side of the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Now well, the Lady Indians aren't going to go away easily, that's for sure. They keep fighting their way back. Here's Sydney Burris. She becomes a setter. That moves Carly Hutchins to the front row, who was masterful the last time she was there in this set. And there's an ace. It is 2016. Well, we've seen Burris do that time and time again. Yes. And I'll tell you what, she's had a great match when it comes to serve. The combination of her serving and setting and Hutchins in the front row has been very good here in this set. Back set to Fry. Sienna off a blocker, but it fell on the side of the Indians. It is 21 16. More importantly for OG is they take over serve. And they do with Sienna Fry doing the honors. Hutchins. Up in the rafters it goes. Bellman does a good job to get to it. Hutchins again. Bellman will set cross court to White. She tips it to the back row. Good play by Jordan. And the quick set, was that illegal? It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, she caught the ball, got it into her palm of her hand. And that was called prolonged contact at 21-17 now. Back to a four-point deficit. I thought that was the correct call, but that's a that's a tough one to make. Yeah, How long make. is the ball actually in that uh, in your hand to direct it that way? Well, this time we're not going to take eight chances yeah. because <laughs> Kim is just go up and hammer it down. <laughs> it is 22-17. So that ball wasn't in my palm very long there. That ball. Here's Caitlin Kimmett to serve. Burris runs a long way to get it. It's going to be free balled over. Bellman goes to get that one. White hits. Ella White scores a point. It's 23-17. I'll tell you, OG's really got a strong front line when 
even if, if Ella White's in there or Sienna Fry's in there, now they're in there together. Kim it again. Line drive serve. Jordan makes a play on it. Hutchins out of the middle, hits it long. And OG is at set point, match point. And their crowd comes to life. They want to see that final point. Kimmett served it out of bounds. 24-18. Yeah, we said it before. You said it, Mark. That last point's always the hardest one to get. <laughs> Bellman will set. White will hit. Off a blocker. Oh. Great save that time by Reddick. Bellman will set White again, and she hits it again. Burris will set Hutchins. Sienna Fry. There it is. And who to get it with Sienna Fry? And the Ottawa Glandorf Titans will take a four-set victory. That will mean that they can do no worse than tie for their 12th WBL championship. They will play Defiance in this building on October 8th. Defiance was 13 and 5, 5 and 2 coming into their match tonight at Salina. And they will do so with the opportunity to win an outright championship. And you can see their team's uh, very happy at this particular yeah, point. Dara, as well, they should be. Uh, yes, they should be. I mean, you know, like we said, this is an old Glendorf team that started out the season at 3 and 6 and now has a chance to just take a, the WBL at least a share of it, if not all, all the way. And uh, to come back from a start that they had, and I saw them earlier in the season, they really struggled, you know, to put it together, man. They, they just did an outstanding job. And... Shawnee, give them credit, too. They mm -hmm. kept in this match all the way through. You know, they, they fought their, their hardest. But that last set, OG just kept that, maintained that four-point margin, most of it, you know, after getting off to a quick start. And uh, was able to finally put it away. And who put it away on the last shot? Sienna Fry. Shawnee will drop it to 14-6 and six on the season. They are 7-1 and one in the Western Buckeye League. They have a match at Kenton on the 8th. They play Lima Central Catholic at home on October 12th. As I said a moment ago, the Ottawa Gunner Titans will go to 13-7, 8-0. They have Ayersville on Monday the 7th, and then Defiance here on the 8th. Opportunity to wrap up an uh, undefeated league championship, their first since 2020. Shawnee won the opening set 25-21. Then OG won the next three sets, 25-23, 25-23, and 25-18 to take an 8-0 mark in the Western Buckeye League. I want to thank our sponsor this evening. That has been Ultimate Outdoor. Thank the athletic director, Mr. Tyson McLaughlin, got us all set up this evening. Jacob O'Neill did our camera work and technical work here in the building, and he will take this back to Betty Road to edit it all together. Again, Ottawa Glendorf wins at least a share of the Western Buckeye League championship. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.